Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on SDTM programming with R Tidyverse for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are looking at how to implement key SDTM programming concepts using R. We will take a quick look at the SAS program for the same concept and then see in detail about the R program. Please note that the complete explanation of the SAS program for this concept is available in a separate playlist. I will leave the link for it in the description of this video. In this video, we will see how to remap unscheduled visits using SV dataset. So let us take a look at the specification first and then we will see the input data and then followed by the programs. So we have been given the derivation logic or algorithm for visit number and visit. It said uh, populate using folder seek for scheduled visits and for unscheduled visits add 0 0.01 to the previous scheduled or unscheduled visit number and assign the value as x dot xx. So for programming purposes use sdtm.sv dataset to get the visit number associated with the unscheduled visit date. So we already have the tree sequencing being done in SV. So we are being asked to fetch the visit number from SV for unscheduled visits. And for scheduled visits, we can directly map it based on folder seek. Similarly, here for uh, visit variable, we are being asked to use folder name variable and we want uh, we are asked to convert it to uppercase for scheduled visits and for unscheduled visits we are being asked to add one to the previous scheduled or unscheduled visit number and assign the value as the prior scheduled visit name with unscheduled x added after added where x reflects the unscheduled visit number for programming purposes use sdtm sv dataset to get visit associated with the unscheduled visit date so this is a little, this sounds a little more complicated here, but we'll see the input data and the SV data set to understand it more clearly. So this is our input data set that we'll be using. So it is kind of semi-processed data set that we will be using for this example. So we have our CV02 data set in which there we have dates uh, like this, and there are few unscheduled visits here. If we see, for subject 1001, there is an unscheduled visit on 23rd Jan and it is for two different tests and there is an another unscheduled visit on 24th Jan. So again, this is for two different tests. So effectively, we have unscheduled visits happening on two different dates. So for scheduled visits, so apart from these four rows, all of the visits are scheduled visits. So here we were asked to use the values of folder seek and folder name for visit num and visit. And for visit variable, we were asked to convert these into uppercase values. So for visit number, we can directly use these numbers. But for unschedules, we are asked to check what is the, uh, where does it actually fall in between two scheduled visits. And we are being asked to tag it as the unscheduled one or unscheduled two after the previous visit. So let us take a look at the SV data set for this then we'll get a better clarity. So here if we see for the, this is again for the same subject here we have visit num and visit already derived. So using all the folder level information or the visit level information across all data sets. So here if we see on 23rd Jan, it was an unscheduled visit after day seven and 24th Jan, it was an unscheduled visit after day seven. So unscheduled one, after day seven and unscheduled two after day seven. So effectively we are being asked to map the unscheduled visits of CV02 using these values. How do we do that? We need to check where this date exactly falls for that subject in SV and then pull the visit number and visit from that row. So we'll now see how to uh, get this programmatically. So let me zoom back in to around 125% and then so here on the left hand side we have the SAS program and on the right hand side I have our program. Uh, let's open SAS program in full window. So, so 
here we are creating visit number and visit so we are using cv02 and creating a data set called cv03 so for scheduled visits we were asked to directly populate it based on folder seek for visit num and for folder name we were asked to uh, for visit we were asked to use folder name and convert it into uppercase so we are effectively doing it on all the records including scheduled and unscheduled in downstream processing we will change that again so for unscheduled visits so for now we have visit num and visit derived in the entire data set of cv02 and after that we need to apply the resequencing logic only for the records which are unscheduled so we are separating the records into scheduled and unscheduled from cv03 using find function say here find if the text unscheduled is present in visit variable irrespective of the case so we are being uh, we are writing those records to the data set called unscheduled because if we have the visit uh, text as unscheduled so which means they correspond to unscheduled visits all the other visits are scheduled visits so we are routing them to scheduled one so in the next step what we have done here is we have used the unscheduled visits parent data set and then joined it with our sv here we are fetching all the variables from unscheduled visit and at the time of uh, reading the input data set we are dropping the existing visit num and visit because for these unscheduled visits we need to actually fetch the visit number and visit from sv data set by checking where that date falls in so we are dropping the source visit num and visit from unscheduled 01 when doing this merge and then joining it to sv so here we are, what we are doing here is we are doing a cartesian product based on subject level so it is not a true cartesian product of every record matching with every record but uh, it is a cartesian product at subject level every record of subject uh, of a subject from unscheduled 1 01 gets mapped to every record of sv of that subject and then after that we are checking where exactly that that cvdtc is falling in between a particular rows svst dtc and sven dtc ideally so what should happen is the cvdtc should fall in between start and end dates of only one of the records in sv so on that record the visit number and visit will become our unscheduled visit numbers for that cvdtc so we will see uh, unscheduled 02 data set in a while then we'll get a better understanding and then after fetching visit number and visit from sv on che by checking that cvdtc where exactly it is falling in between a particular rows sv stdtc and sv and dtc we are appending the scheduled and unscheduled visits again into a data set called cv04 and then sorting that data set based on study id sub id cv test cd and cv dtc now let us take a look at the data sets first so here i have separated scheduled and unscheduled here and then we use this unscheduled and then did a cartesian product at subject level with sv and then fetch the visit num and visit from sv by checking where this 24th jan fell between the sv stdtc and sv and dtc of that subject so 24th jan will exactly fall on this record so for the record where cv dtc was 24th jan so we would get the visit value as day 7 unscheduled 2 and where the date was 23rd jan so when we checked whether the cv dtc is falling in between start and end dates so this condition becomes true and then the resulting visit num would be visit num and visit would be day 7 unscheduled 1 so we were fetching that in this step of proc sql cartesian product so we now fetched the unscheduled uh, the visit num and visit for the unscheduled raw visits and then we kept only the required variables now let us see how this can be replicated using our program so i'll open the program on left hand side and i'll open the data set intermediate data sets on the right hand side so here i am using cv02 as input and creating cv03 and in that step i am adding new variables to cv02 and storing them in cv03 so i am creating a variable called visit number and by using the values of folder seek and then 
using the folder name and converting it into uppercase using str to upper function and assigning it to visit and then like how we did it in SAS. So we are creating two separate data sets for scheduled and unscheduled. So in SAS, we used a single data step to create two data sets, but there is no exact replicate of it in R. So we will use two separate filter functions. So we are using CV03 here and filtering the rows where so we used find function there so we have a similar function called str detect string detect so wherein we are checking for the presence of unscheduled text in visit variable and then negating it so if we do not find the text unscheduled in visit variable we are outputting them to schedule 01 and in the next case so while creating unscheduled 01 we are finding the records where visit has unscheduled and storing them in this data set and then we are keeping only the required variables from SV in SV01. So U sub JD, visit num, visit and SVST, DTC and E and DTC in this temporary SV data set. And then, so like how we did that Cartesian product using SQL at subject level. So we will do that similarly here. So using unscheduled 01, I am dropping the existing visit num and visit because they will have the text of unscheduled in it. And then I'm dropping those and then doing a left join. But one thing to note here is this option of relationship is equal to many to many. By default, uh, if we do not specify relationship is equal to many, many to many. So left join can only perform many to one or one to many joins. And if we have multiple relations, it will fail. So unless we specify relationship is equal to many to many. So as we know that we want many to many join to happen at subject level we are making use of this option called relationship is equal to many to many on left join function and then joining this unscheduled 01 to sv01 at subject level and then filtering the rows where where the cv dtc svst dtc is less than or is equal to cv dtc and cv dtc less than or is equal to sv and dtc this technically gets translated like where CV DTC is in between SV ST DTC and SV and DTC. So we are filtering the appropriate row in which that unscheduled visit is falling from SV. And then as we don't need SV ST DTC and SV and DTC, I have dropped them. So we when we did that left join, the variables visit num and visit num visit and visit num from SV01 would come into our unscheduled 02. So if we take a look at the unscheduled 02 data set here, again the raw values for folder seek and folder name were triple nine and unscheduled. So after using SV, so we now identified the exact visit number and visit of that unscheduled visit. So and finally we are combining that scheduled visits and unscheduled visits, unscheduled records, and then sorting the data based on study ID, use of JD, CV test CD, and CV DTC. So this is how we can make use of the pre-created SV data set to fetch the associated visit number for a unscheduled visit. Thank you for watching and keep learning.